how are you guys? Guys, today we're going to be making my mashed potatoes. They are so bomb. Everybody loves them. You're going to love them. I love them. You'll definitely be doing your mashed potatoes like this um, forever. I'm going to be using eight potatoes. Um, I'm using yellow potatoes today but I've done this recipe with the regular um, potatoes, the russet potatoes, red potatoes. You can use whatever potatoes you want, but I'm just, um, I just happen to use yellow today. You're going to wash them, take off any little, you know, the little pieces that are in there, and we're going to cut them in half. I actually only used seven because it was just too many. Eight wouldn't fit in here. And I cut some into four pieces instead of half. So what I was explaining earlier, saying that um, they're lazy mashed potatoes because I leave the skin on them. Um, and they taste super good. Um, and like I said, you can do it with the russet, like with the, with the dark brown potatoes too. And it tastes just as good. So you're going to cut them up, put them in a pot like so, and you're going to fill this up with water and salt. I'm using a lid, but I'm not going to cover it um, the whole way. Okay, you guys want to boil this on high and um, cover the potatoes halfway and throw in um, a couple pinches of salt and we're going to add the rest of the stuff at the end. You also want to monitor this because you don't want the water boiling over. So at first I had it at on high and then after like 15 minutes I lowered it to like a more a medium but it's still high. So it's looking like this right now. And it's just gonna stay like this. Okay, you guys, um, it's been an hour. And of course the potatoes under are super soft more than the ones on top. So what we're going to do is just mix it around. Where's my spoon? But see how they're coming apart? That's exactly what you want. That's just the salt. Move them around a little bit. We're going to turn it off now. still hot you want to do this right away we are going to put this is like half of a carry gold butter this is real butter okay so we're gonna put this is already room temperature but real butter and we're going to put country crock if you have all real butter that's fine but I'm almost out so I have to use both Okay, the key to these mashed potatoes is a lot of butter. Anytime mashed potatoes taste bland, it's because you don't have enough butter. So we're gonna start with that much butter right now. I'm putting some whole milk in here. One, two, three, four, five. Just count to five and pour. <laughs> and we're going to start mashing. You also want to make sure you go all the way to the bottom and mix. 
everything. See, there's pieces that are still kind of big and dry. You want to get those out from the bottom. <clears throat> cheese so four ounces you got it <coughs> you got to hit the spoon or the masher I mean sideways Scrape the bottom like I was saying earlier. Ooh, that's some arm work. Um, so now is the time to put some pepper in there. And the whole reason why they're called lazy is because I didn't peel them because that always takes so long and it's just like just throw them in the pot and cook them while you have a whole hour to do something else. So then you wanna go ahead and put it in a nicer little pot. Sprinkle with a little bit more pepper and that is it. 